Hi friends, welcome back. Today we're talking about quadratic formula when you have no solution. Remember, we always wanna get our, uh, our equation into standard form. So we'll get everything all on one side and set it equal to zero. So I'm going to add three eight, so plus, or three a, and then plus eight, plus eight. So this leaves me with five a squared plus three a plus eight. Okay, equals zero, sorry. <clears throat> so remember what I said in previous lessons, Here's our quadratic formula, x equals negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. It will live rent-free in your head until you're an old person residing in your old person home. I have no idea, playing video games and reciting the quadratic formula. Uh, you'll notice the b squared minus 4ac, or all the garbage under that radical, is in a different color. That's because it's our discriminant, and while we will talk about that in a different video, I do think that if you start with your discriminant, you are much better off because if you're anything like me, I'm lazy. I don't want to have to write anything more than necessary. Here is a good reason why. When you have no solution, so we're going to start with our discriminant, b squared minus 4ac. So we take our b, so 3 squared minus 4 times a times c. So our a is 5, our c is 8. That gives me 9, and then I'm allowed to just bring down my minus because there's no other negative. So minus 4 times 5 is 20, times 8 is 160. Ah, uh, that is going to give me negative 151. This is a negative discriminant. This means we would have, if we go to use our this in our formula, we're gonna have a negative under our radical, which in algebra one, you are not allowed to have. So if you end up with a negative discriminant, you don't have to do anything else. You just say no solution. This is why I say to write it as a discriminant or do your discriminant first, because otherwise you've written everything else out around it and you don't need to do that. So let's go ahead and set this equal to zero by minusing 12m from both sides. That gives us 7m squared minus 12m plus 6 equals 0. OK, so let's say that I was, instead of doing the discriminant first, you're going to say x equals negative negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all divided by 2a. Oops, and our a is 7, so 2 times 7. So that's going to be x equals positive 12 plus minus, that's going to be 144, and then minus 4 times 7 times 6, uh, we end up with 168 over 14. So x equals 12 plus minus uh, square root of negative 24 over 14. Ah, so you see your radical is negative. So this is a no solution. But this is why I just tell you, do your discriminant straight away, because then you wouldn't have had to write all this extra stuff. Um, it ends up being a lot less work if you do it this way than if you write all of that out. If your discriminant is a solution, then you've already done half your quadratic formula and it's a lot easier. So hope that helps. If you have any questions, uh, leave them below, let your teacher or let your teacher know, and then we will see you next time.